that you've settled down, that you found a girl and you're married now. I heard that your dreams came true. Yes. Okay, well, the York Regional Business Program is one of the non governmental organizations located in the York Region. Um, set up um, primarily as a community-based agency working for and on behalf of the community, specializing in individual, specializing in providing services for individuals who have experienced childhood sexual abuse. So our main focus, contrary to other agencies, is very specific, very direct. We work with only individuals who have experienced childhood sexual abuse, that trauma and the impact that it has had upon their life. And we also work with individuals who have experienced that historic abuse that was never dealt with. We provide that trauma and counseling for them. We have been in existence since 1989. That's way over 22 years. So we have basically built a name and a reputation for ourselves in the community as it relates to the quality of service, the level of professionalism, and the, the deliverables, what is it that we can really offer to men, women, children, and persons in the LGBT community. Yes, she gave you things I didn't give to you. Well, so far, we, we, we have been able to, over the years, see way over 300 persons in any given year operating with a budget of over $700,000. We see many children throughout the York region and any other children and family in a region that doesn't have a like service. So, really, the agency is very much poised to offer in that quality of service and as we say we are not muzzled into the other areas but we deal specifically with that core area of the trauma that the individual would have experienced and one of the things that is noticeable is that we have the, 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 the staff who are trained and qualified to deliver we have the, the friendliness and the openness so that individuals can access our services and one of the unique things is that we are now embarking upon an outreach program where volunteers can be involved and they can basically go to the churches, the communities, the schools, and do a lot of outreach program, educating children and others as it relates to what is childhood sexual abuse, um, what are the signs, the symptoms, the behavioral clues, what it is that you can do to prevent same, and how it is that we can basically put structures in place to protect our children who are the future generation. Old friend, why are you so shy? Two, two main areas the outreach prevention the outreach prevention program OPP as we call it basically involves students that's where volunteers and other community persons are involved going to the schools the churches that's basically an outreach program to let people know what is childhood sexual abuse what is happening out there how it is impacting the lives of individuals and more so educating every 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 sector and every person be it man woman boy girl members of the LGBT community what is happening in the lives of individuals who would have been affected and the trauma and the long-term effect of childhood sexual abuse. In addition to that, we do the pamphlets, we do the brochures, any form of, of activity that is out there in the community, we make ourselves very visible and present to ensure that we can educate people as it relates to the impact of childhood sexual abuse. In addition to that, individuals can access our two services, which is our main therapeutic programs, which is our adult and adolescent program, and our children and family program. So children from zero, from three to 13 can access our children and family program, and their, their, their parents as well can access it. So they're having both the children and the caregivers program, and then we have the adult and adolescent, 14 years and above, uh, um, can access both individual and group therapy. And we have program for teen girls, we have programs for the LGBT community, we have programs for men, and you know, the, the programs run on Mondays to Thursdays in the afternoon from 6 to, to 8 p.m. So everyone who meets the criteria, meaning that they have experienced childhood sexual abuse and they haven't committed a sexual offense themselves, are basically eligible to be a part of the program. You to hold back or hide from the light. 
basically the, the years of existence have basically given us a name of our own. So we are basically the, the lead provider of that type of intervention in the York region, specifically for sexual abuse. We believe also that individuals who have access to our services are able, you know, are, are basically sharing the word. Our, our key partners, the Children's Aid Society and the police are fully aware of our services and so the referrals, you know, are made to us by them and also the families that they come in contact with. We also believe that we have been using our outreach and prevention program using our flyers and brochures and banners to go out there. We believe that the, the, the fact that we have our major fundraiser every year which is our gala coming up in 2012 again it's an annual gala of fundraising you know to 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 raise funds and to sensitize people as it relates to what is happening for child sexual abuse is also a significant area we are on the world wide web www.yrap.ca we are on facebook so we are using the the, the various media that are, that you know that are available to us to basically sensitize people as it relates to to what we do who we are and the services that we offer. I hate to turn up out of the blue, uninvited, but I... Certainly, if we were to be the recipient of the $5,000 grant, I believe that with the strategic and tactical executive director that we have, she certainly would be able to find effective use for that money. I am certain that we'll be able to expand our outreach and prevention program by continually... Um, providing the necessary materials and resource personnel to go out into the schools through boats and through um, activities and other community outreach activities, letting people know what is child sexual abuse, the impact and how that can be done. And I'm certain that if there are any, any resources over, we'll be able to use it for purchasing of resources or any other additional material that may be needed for either of the two programs that we offer, be it our adult and adolescent program our children and family program. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you to Don't forget me, I think I remember you say Sometimes it lasts and loves, but sometimes it hurts instead.